Morning everyone. Welcome to Road Road Restore. I'm John. Okay, so in this video we're going to be working on the uh, CBR 1000F engine, uh, the C SC21E. What I'm going to try and do in this video is remove the pistons, uh, remove all the side casings and uh, we'll basically just see how far we can get in the 15 minute video. Uh, plus this is my new camera so bear with me if we uh, I haven't got a very good picture because I'm just getting used to it. And uh, yes, yeah, so anyway, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay then, so first off we're going to try and remove this piston that obviously it needs to come up so I can get to the gudgeon pin or whatever you want to call it. Right then, so now we'll have to rotate the engine to get the piston to top dead. Centre, is that about 14 or something? You know about that? I'll do. I've got my foot stuck under the engine. Oh, uh, oh that's better. It doesn't really matter now, but when we're rebuilding the engine, we especially, especially when we're rebuilding the engine, we'll need to put some in there because there's like a little gudgeon pin in there what we've got to try and remove it's like a circular clip what I'm going to use is a little screwdriver just poke it into the side there try and ease out the little gudgeon pin can you just see about, it's just about see it coming out there just go round it should just pop out just like that like a little uh, C-clip type thing. Now what I will do is, I'm calling this cylinder one. So I'll get my bits. But yes, I'm calling this cylinder one. So I'll put my Gucci pin into that one. Try and get this uh, little dowel shaft to come through, little end, whatever you want to call it. So just push it through with your finger. And hopefully it should come out. Don't need to take it out all the way. Just lift your piston off. And there's your first piston. Push that back in. And uh, put your piston into the uh, cylinder number one. Both these main cranks feel very good. There is play like that from side to side, but not a lot. But what you really got to look for, so I'm told, is if you can move it up and down, but if there is the slightest little bit of movement, then you're begins or worn that all these seem okay even with the pistons on and they did on the other engine as well okay then so that's all the four pistons removed number four number three number two and number one okay so the next thing I'm going to remove is these uh, stator things whatever they are it's just uh, four little bolts I think four little 10 mil bolts and a uh, little rubber bungs there to get the wire out as well or oh, could we get a 10 mil spanner who needs a 10 mil spanner we've got this 
Well, it should be flat by now. Battery should be flat. Okay, see if it still works. So there we go, that's them four removed. I'll put them back in when we've uh, gotten all this out. Work out how this little rubber comes out. Just ease it out with a screwdriver. Okay, and I think they're magnetised so keep them away from loose filings and stuff because you might uh, find that there's a load of metal stuck to it when you come back. So put that somewhere safe. I'm about to take that off because that's where the uh, crankcase join is so I know I've got to take that off. Just uh, going along as I uh, find things. I'm not sure what's going off down here. But I've got to remove the sprocket. Hopefully I haven't got to remove the sprocket because that's a pretty old job even with the chain on, with the engine in the bike. I think this soft sprocket comes off and then this is another cover. So all this cover comes off as well, I'm pretty sure of it. If I remember rightly on the other one. Get a socket to fit on there. Yeah. That's going to be fun, isn't it, trying to undo that? Let's try it on the impact gun. Is it going to take my fingers off? Please don't take my fingers off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so I think that must have been loose anyway, the looks of it. Oh, that was that was handy coming out like that. Oh yes. Okay, so there's the sprocket. The sprocket looks pretty good as well. You would have thought the sprocket would look like that, would you? Stay so what the rest of the engine looked like. I think there'd be great big hooks on it. But uh, yes, happy with that. Put that back in there so we don't lose it. Uh, put these little 10 mils back in so we don't lose those and that's it now we can remove try and remove this cover and see what's going on underneath there it looks like there is one 10 mil is that a bolt oh. looks like there's an 8 mil there and an 8 mil under there let's put that 10 mil out being as we've got the 10 mil socket Let's just try it with this 8mm spanner. Does that fit it? Yes. It would have a bit of trouble with the other one because that's underneath the water pump. You've got brass washers on. Yes, that's something to note. got uh, brass washes on these bolts. No, it's not going to come out there is it because the uh, water pump's in the way. If I can find an 8mm socket. Get rid of this bloody water pump. Yeah, it's an 8mm. Uh, I think that's definitely a fixing bolt. That's definitely a fixing bolt. But the socket doesn't want to fit on it. Uh, 
do I have to go back to the spanner? Which one is it? It's that one. No, oh, that's good, isn't it? You can't even get the bloody spanner on it. Now it's going. It was a bit of luck, wasn't it? Yep, so that's just got two fixing bolts because I can see it's come loose, look. So I'll get that one there. There we go. Hopefully that should just lift off. There we go. That's the pull to pump out the way. Can get this bolt out. I wonder why that one's got a copper washer on it and these haven't. So you better remember that. Lay this down a bit. Oh, I could see the join there. Let's see if we can uh, prise on that little bit. Let's go in. Not really sure what's happening. Oop, got oil coming out of the bottom. We've got oil. Didn't think I was going to get my hands dirty today, but bloody am doing. They yeah, are just lifts off there like that. Got flashy lights. So that just comes off there just like that. Oh, that's we've got to get a new gasket for that as well. Oh, it's got to cost a fortune in gaskets. So yes, now we can get to what's that? Yeah, I can feel it when my nail is definitely split goes across there. So I think that's this side clear for the separation of the two halves. I want to do a separate video on how to remove a CBR1000F alternator. So I've been asked that a few times. And I wasn't sure with the last engine, but when I did the last engine, then I finally worked out that you cannot remove this alternator unless you crack the engine open and uh, take the chain off of the alternator cogs. So if you want to remove your alternator from your CBR1000F, you have got to take your engine completely apart. There is a little viewing window in here. You take that off, it's got a brass washer on it as well. So yes, I'm going to make a separate video of the uh, removing the alternator, even though I'm stripping the engine as well at the same time. So it's going to be a bit confusing for my editing. <laughs> right, so now, we're going to get these covers off. So we can see the split all the way through of the engine halves. So they're 10 mil. So, so let's crack all these open. Almost there. Last one. There we go. Take all these out. Try not to lose the wire. Honest bracket clip bit. Oh, come on out there, you little. There we go. Try not to lose that little bit. 
there's another one on this wire as well, but that will stay attached to the wire. And put all those down there. I've got to try and crack this little baby open. It's okay, I'm not abusing my tools. Ratchet is knackered from when I abused it last time. Okay, this is on good and proper, isn't it? You got out of shot there. There we go, it's going, it's going. shot there. Roll it back over. In fact I'll leave it like that. This should come off now. Yeah. We'll put all the uh, little bolts in there with that so I know where they are. All looks okay inside there. Uh, hopefully I can leave that on the shaft, on the main shaft. I don't need to take that off hopefully. Uh, because if there is a problem with it, if the clutch is slipping or anything, or it's got a noisy bearing, it'll be easy enough just to take this panel off and uh, sort it out while it's in the bike. But hopefully the clutch should be alright. I haven't got the other clutch for spear plate, so if anything's wrong, I'll just take this cover off while it's in the bike and uh, sort it out. So what next? Now we've got this little one here. Uh, is this socket going to fit on there with them? So the trouble with this, it's like an 8 bell socket, but the walls are too fat. So with these little lips, you can't get it on. Caught it. Good job you have these little adapters, isn't it? So I've got that little adapter which will fit in the socket. So I've got that bigger adapter which will fit in the littler adapter. And then we've got the big adapter what will fit into the gun hopefully. Come on, you want to go in there, you know you do. Oh yes! So let's whack these three little bolts open. There we go. One, two, three. there's nothing behind this little cover just a bit of the shaft main shaft sticking out oh. come on baby no lip on these ones to get anything on it Get on the lip a little bit. Watch that lip of the wall as well. Not the best way to do it, I know, but uh, That's got that off. It's got that off. That's uh... yes, I'm in Australia and the cap's gone into uh, bull. Let me just go back, go down to ball and get my cap back. Cool. 
Okay, so that's the little cap. That's the main shaft. Just uh, put these in there with the other casing. So now I think we should be good to go. I think we can start cracking all these ones open. So let me just go and check see if I've missed anything and I'll be back in a bit. Okay then, so I hope my new camera's uh, got a very nice picture and I've got everything set up okay. So this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks to everybody who commented on the last video. I do read all the comments and I do try to reply to all of them. So I hope this video has been of some use to some people with their CBR engines. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you probably on Saturday. I see you in another life, brother.